Hi there guys, uh, look uh, first of all I'm sorry I've been away for a little while, uh, Christmas and uh, work and what have you has just been taking up a lot of time, but I wanted to show you a few watches that I've been uh, uh, enjoying recently. Uh, this is uh, the first one and uh, it's probably got quite a lot of um, uh, press recently. This is part of Seiko's Black Series, so it's effectively um, a limited edition Seiko that uh, is uh, all about uh, night diving. So uh, it is uh, the typical uh, turtle, so nothing special there, um, other than the, um, I suppose, the, the cosmetic uh, effect of the watch. So the uh, watch has um, Luma Bright on it, uh, slightly burnt orange sort of effect, gives it a little bit of an antique uh, vintage sort of look. Uh, as you can see from the case, it is a PVD finish. Um, with both uh, shiny and also matte effect on it. Um, the watch contains the 4R36 movement and uh, is 45 mils across. So um, it's a largest watch, but um, sits well on, uh, on my wrist, which is about seven inches. Um, in terms of the limited edition, um, there is a little bit of... Um, I suppose confusion as to, to just how limited this watch is. Seiko have said it's limited, but they haven't actually announced how many they've made. Um, so my uh, advice would be, if you are interested in this watch, go and grab it uh, before they do sell out. Uh, limited editions do tend to rise quite uh, drastically in value, for uh, especially for Seikos. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see just how many they actually did make. Uh, the watch doesn't come on a uh, steel strap, it comes on the uh, traditional Seiko rubber strap. And as you can see here, it still has the, um, the Tsunami um, branding there, also on the back. Um, I must say, I'm probably a little bit disappointed that this watch didn't come with a PVD case back. It does sort of seem a little bit odd that it's, uh, it's all black and then it's got a nice silver it on the back. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you're, you're not wearing it and, and when well, you're wearing it and you're not showing that part, but it does seem to be a little bit odd that it's not sort of uh, finished the same style as the watch. Um, you can see there, it's got a nice signed Seiko clasp. Uh, PVD all the way through. I apologise for this. I took it to the uh, swimming pool and it's got a little bit of uh, stuff on it. But uh, the strap itself is very nice. It reminds me a little bit of a thicker version of an Apple watch strap. Um, so it's quite a supple um, soft sort of uh, rubber, but um, it's not a, a hard one. I was quite pleased with it. Um, but yeah, like I say, 45 mils, uh, hard legs crystal. It's got a very nice movement. And for those that are the um, perfectionists, um, chapter ring and the, um, the bezel do align properly. And uh, it's probably one of the few divers, in fact, actually, it might be the only diver I've got that's got the date window and a, uh, a day on it as well. But um, all up, accuracy is fantastic, uh, really bright at night, and um, yeah, great watch. Cheers, guys.